Have you been ever woken up in the middle of the night by your smart speaker just to tell the weather and scare the shit out of you? Or have you been ever shown an ad about something that you just talked about with one of your friends offline? Well, these are not theories from some paranoid users who think the technology around us might be listening to you. There have been reports in the past that the smart speakers or other technology around us might be invading our privacy. Now to fill up this story, a recent smart speaker study from a bunch of students from Northeastern University and Imperial College of London claims that these speakers can wake up to 19 times a day when not uttered to the wake word. But the point is, are these speakers really listening to us? Well, let's try to find out in this video. So the students from the Northeastern University and the Imperial College of London put these speakers to test and see why and how these speakers are accidentally being woken up even when we don't say the wake word. And to do that, they put these speakers to a test bed and to imitate the human voice sample, they played 12 Netflix shows on audio through a normal Bluetooth speaker. And then they monitored these speakers for accidental wakes through a camera. And they also monitored the network traffic to see if any information is being transmitted from these speakers to their cloud service, if it is available. And you won't believe the results are rather interesting. So the most number of wakes was from Apple HomePod, which is basically Siri is their personal assistant and Cortana devices, followed by Amazon Echo Dot second generation, Google Home Mini and Amazon Echo Dot third generation. And when it comes to the duration of accidental wakes, the maximum duration of accidental wake was recorded at 43 seconds. The culprit here was the Amazon Echo Dot second generation. But there was not even a single TV show that didn't trigger this accidental wakes from any of the speakers, which is again alarming. But the question here arises, are these speakers really listening to you? Or to be more precise, are there humans that are actually listening to the recordings these speakers record. Now, as I told you, the students at the Northeastern University and Imperial College of London also monitored the network traffic. But it hasn't been proven yet if these speakers actually record and transmit the scripts from their ecosystem to, us, to, to somewhere outside. And if you ask these speakers that if they are recording your voice samples, they would straight away deny it because companies like Amazon, Google and even Microsoft has never explicitly mentioned that they use these recordings for their purposes. The only time I can remember is Amazon claiming that they listen to a very small amount of voice samples from their Echo smart speakers. But again, that are only to make their products better. Now here is where we ask the question, how important is privacy to you? Well, we all know that we are sharing our personal information on the internet and we also kind of know that it is being shared with some third party company somewhere in the world. But the question is, do we really care? Well, honestly, I think most of us don't. But if you want to and if you want to take certain steps to improve your privacy, well, here are certain ways you can stop your smart speakers and your phone from listening to you when you don't want them to. For most of the smart speakers, the manufacturers do give to switch off the microphone. So there is that. You can always switch off the microphone of your smart speaker when you are not using it. And I know it takes a bit of getting used to and it is a little bit of effort, especially when you want to say something to your smart speaker and the microphone is off, but you will have to do it because it is the only way. The mic is muted. Now with your phone, what you would want to do is disable the OK Google hot word detection on Android. Now I don't have any Apple device right now, but I'll make sure I give the detailed explanation in the description box below for all the Apple users and how you can disable the Hey Siri hot word detection on Apple devices. Now this isn't the only way your phone can listen to you. Now there have been theories in the past where people have reported that their phone showed an ad of something they were just talking about with their friend offline. Now on Android, you get a comprehensive permission control. And to control your microphone permissions, simply go to settings. Again, I'm using a OnePlus device, so your settings might be a little different. But overall, I think the idea behind it is same for all the Android devices. So you go to settings 
and then you look for privacy or permissions and then you go to permission manager now here if you go to microphone i have currently enabled 13 or 50 apps that can use my microphone anytime they want now i can simply go to for example instagram and deny the app to use my microphone it is that simple and after that i am pretty sure all of these apps will not have access to your microphone. So yes guys, this was it for this video. I really wanted to make this video for a very long time because I always thought that our phones or even our smart speakers listen to us without our permission. But this recent study just ignited that urge inside me to make this video for you guys. So comment down your thoughts below and share some examples if you think you have ever encountered your smart speaker accidentally listening to you. And share it with your friends and family who would also want their phone and smart speakers to not listen to them whenever they don't want to so yes guys before you go make sure you hit that subscribe button and especially hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload such videos in future as well so till then keep asking and i'll see you in the next one now i don't have any apple device right now with me 